design section at the Department of Mechanical Engineering, IIT Madras, has 21 faculty members working in diverse areas spanning mechanics and materials, dynamics and acoustics, assistive devices, non-destructive evaluation and robotics. Most of the labs are in the machine design section building. The group's faculty members form an excellent blend of youth and experience. The research scholars work on cutting-edge technologies such as modeling soft matter and granular materials, fast and efficient computational tools, biomechanics with prosthesis, bio-inspired underwater robots for NDE inspection, acoustic metamaterials and multi-material product development. The research is well supported by government funding agencies including defense and space as well as from industry. The R2-D2 Center develops assistive devices for persons with disability to improve their quality of life. The standing wheelchair enables persons with paralysis to stand easily, while Neo Bolt simplifies personal mobility for wheelchair users. Fundamental research plays a significant role in the lab's ability to translate research into products. For instance, the gait and motion analysis facility in R2-D2 is used to analyze and understand human motion and walking patterns. This in turn helps develop appropriate devices for persons with disability. The design group is deeply engaged in the material and machine health monitoring research essential for reliable mechanical systems across several verticals in industry. The Center for Non-Destructive Evaluation CNDE in the Machine Design Section IIT Madras is a world leader in non-invasive industrial inspection and diagnostics. The center has developed an in-house, high-resolution, high-frequency scanning acoustic microscopy system with associated software for surface profiling of micro-machine structures and identifying micro-defects in welds. Another unique feature of the center is the world-class research facility in infrared thermography, IRT. CNDE has developed unique infrared lenses for high-resolution imaging applications such as flaw detection and material characterization. The Engineering Asset Management EAM group is developing advanced diagnostic and prognostic algorithms for rotating machinery components. What we are watching is a lab-scale experimental test rig developed to model the complete drivetrain of a wind turbine. This can mimic real in-service loading environments. We use vibration measurements to detect and locate gear defects such as root cracks and broken teeth. While bearings are used in all rotating machinery, a unique situation occurs in traction motors of electric vehicle drivetrains where it is subjected to electric currents and mechanical loads. The novel electromechanical tribo test device in the Advanced Materials and Product Design Lab studies the performance of bearing materials and lubricants due to the combined effect of electric currents and mechanical loads. This helps in the early detection of lubricant deterioration. The Advanced Tribology Research Lab investigates materials for conformal and non-conformal contacts in machine elements. The multifunctional tribometer is used to do experiments in dry and lubricated conditions under room and elevator temperatures. It is being extensively used for biotribology applications. The facility can also carry out scuffing, scratch and micro-hardness tests. We now move to the Acoustics and Dynamics Lab where mechanical system vibration and acoustic performance are investigated. A twin room reverberation facility designed and fabricated at IIT Madras is used to characterize the performance of noise barriers and panels fitted at the common wall of the twin rooms. Sound is generated in the source room using speakers and the noise reduction through the sample is measured in the receiver room using pressure microphones. 
we have several faculty members trying to understand the mechanics of novel and advanced materials. The Stimuli Responsive Systems Lab makes polymer thin films to investigate their actuation behavior for application in microfluidics and soft robotics. The optical, thermal and mechanical properties of the thin films are examined through different characterization tools. FE and molecular dynamic stimulations help optimize the actuators. The Center for Responsive Soft Matter at IIT Madras has developed a robust and easily scalable computational tool for additive manufacturing, while the Time Dependent Materials Lab develops computational tools for understanding viscoelastic materials. The focus of the simulations is on establishing the feasibility of fabricating drug-eluting bioresorbable stents BRS using AM and its deployment into target arteries by performing simulations and complementary experiments. In order to identify breast cancer using mechanical means, it is important to study the stress patterns in bodies with inhomogeneities. Carcinomas in tissues are essentially inhomogeneities in a viscoelastic medium for which models have been developed to identify them. The Computational Materials and Mechanics group uses atomic scale and continuum modeling techniques to understand fundamental physics governing multi-scale phenomena. Several simulation tools combined with higher scale numerical schemes such as coarse graining and finite element method are used to solve complicated problems in materials for energy-related applications such as lithium-ion batteries and nuclear fission and fusion. These simulations provide insights, identify new physics in situations where experiments are hard to do. Here at the Computational Material Science and Mechanics group, we use various simulation tools in order to understand physical phenomena in various kinds of materials. For instance, we use molecular dynamic simulation to understand radiation damage in fission and fusion materials. We also use molecular dynamic simulations to understand polymer mechanics. We use discrete element method in order to, in order to evaluate the constitutive laws of pebble beds used in fusion materials. In addition to that, we are also using finite element method to understand lithiation processes in lithium-ion battery electrode particles.